Well, another week, another wind pad for windless drum moving across the air. Frankly, I'm sick of it. I want spring to come in, but as I say, don't shoot the messenger. We're publicity and marketing only, not production. Start to take a look at our highlights, our watches, warnings, and advisories. Winter Storm Watch is pretty much in effect across all the western mountains. Now, this does not include the valleys at this point. Maybe a little bit of warmer air coming in. We could see some mixing with rain, keeping amounts down just a little bit in the Jackson and Star Valleys. We could issue some advisories, though, as we head closer to the event. And that high wind watch, in effect, this has been in effect since yesterday. Basically, Jeffrey's sitting up toward Casper. One start in end times on the east. Go to weather.gov slash RIW for those details. Now, as we look at the impacts out west, Will be some light snow falling across the area, maybe locally moderate at times. Highest elevations may pick up five or six inches of snow, only a couple inches in the valley, so impact should be minimal. On Tuesday, we see the heavier snow coming in, probably more likely in the afternoon hours, but especially at night. I think that's going to be when the heaviest snow is going to fall, maybe an inch or two an hour in the higher elevations. Now, it will be a fairly mild day east of I, at least relatively speaking, still below normal. And so we could see some snow melt there. Also, that strong to high wind is the prone locations, obviously, especially where those watches are in effect. Now, Wednesday, snow will continue across the west, mixing with rain as we head toward the afternoon before it ends late, especially during the nighttime hours. Now, east of the divide, most of us should be okay through the daylight hours. Looks like just rain coming in, especially in the afternoon. Changing the snow at night, though, as that colder air comes in, and the steadiest snow there will probably be after midnight. But more snow continuing as you head into Thursday as well. They'll end it during the nighttime hours, and Thursday is going to be just a windy, cold, raw, just nasty day. It's not going to be nice to be outside. Not frigid cold, but just kind of a raw feeling day. Now, look at the maximum wind gusts. You can see, pretty much see where that high wind warning is in effect. Basically, you ever see it at Casper. Wind gusts is 60, 70 miles per hour. You can see strong gusts as far north as Casey, though. Just about everybody can see some gusty winds as that front sweeps across Tuesday into Wednesday. Now, expect the snowfall. This is across the west. A little more certainty as to how much it's going to fall out here. Most likely, I'm at about three to six inches across the valleys, anywhere from about 10 to 18 inches across the highest elevations of the mountains, less as you go further south, obviously, 8 to 12 around Lake Yellowstone. Pinedale may pick up two to four inches more as you head toward Bondurant, and then lesser amounts as you head further south, and about one to two around Cameron. I know you can't see that. It's kind of being chopped off. Now, other places east of the divide, we're still a couple days out. I don't want to give you a an unrealistic number there. It's a little too early to put specific amounts out for east of the divide, but I'll give you some range of possibilities. Fit the least this amount. Now, one thing I want to know, that goes through Thursday at 6 a.m. There will be additional snow on Thursday as well, so a little bit more on top of this. Western area, it's about two to four inches, probably at least, at least up to a foot across the mountains as well. Anywhere, again, this goes through the, the 6 o'clock on Thursday morning. Can't talk. It's early in the morning, so shoot me. Maybe just a trace here, things set up right. Now, the worst case scenario, which I don't want, and I know a lot of people don't want, we're just about over this winter. Again, through 6 o'clock, there probably will be additional snow on Thursday. Our probabilistic graphics don't run out that far. East of the divide, anywhere from about 1 to 3 inches, maybe locally, higher amounts here around Walton, and higher elevations here could accumulate a little bit more. Anywhere from about 1 to 3 across the I-80 corridor, a little bit more as you head up toward the Green River Basin. And maximum amount across the valleys, this will probably be mainly on the grassy areas, not on the roads, because... I think it falls Friday afternoon with a high sun angle. Temperatures in the 30s might melt on contact. Anywhere from about 6 to 8 inches in the valleys. And across the highest elevations here, maybe locally up to 2 feet of new snow. And our resources, you want weather, you know where to go, weather.gov slash R-A-W. Road conditions, again, don't call us. Go here for the road conditions. On the web, we're our road.info. It's a great source. They have a great interactive map there. If you want to call them on the phone, 511 in-state, 188 Wild Road out of state. And you want to take over to our webcams by route. Great service. You can look all over the state on this. Go to our homepage, click on the local programs tab, and go to the webcams by Rob, like I said. Be safe, everybody, and enjoy your day.